Yeah. But usually if I know I'm fucking like huge massive dicks, I'll do it for OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Because yeah. for companies you get paid one time, but for OnlyFans it's forever. Consistent. Exactly. Yeah. If I'm gonna take your dick, I'm taking it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Your wardrobe screams fatherless. We have more trust Honestly, in that top zipping kind of people. Disgusting. How was your relationship with your father? Nice. Just saying, why did you get the attention you wanted? You need Jesus. That's offensive. All right, welcome back, my offenders. I have a co-host here with me today. Hello. Hi, Kristen. Hi. Hello. Hello. And we get to interview the beautiful <laughs> Kaylee Gunner. Beautiful and very hot. I have the hottest host of all time. Woo! <laughs> Three blondes. You want to yeah. see the OnlyFans video after? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? Three fake titties. Are yours fake? Oh, honey. Honey, yes. yes. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's start off by asking the offensive questions of the week. Are your parents aware that you're an internet whore? Oh, yes. They're very <laughs> proud of me, actually. They, they are? Like yeah. your mom and dad? Okay, my mom, I, very religious. Yes. So doesn't need to know. Yeah. Um, oh, so she doesn't know. No. But my dad knows, and he's like, you're up, you were up for awards. I'm super proud of you. He's obsessed. Like, he wants to fuck all my friends. A little weird, dad. <laughs> but I let it slide. Yeah. Do you think he watches your videos? Never. Okay, that's good at least. A little weird. Yeah, that would be, that'd be crossing <laughs> a boundary. Not, it's like karma. He's a porn addict, honestly. So he's like, um, a listen, like, when I come across, like, browsers or big sites, you're popping up. Like, I need to, like... <laughs> Can you do other porn? Like, do like some weird porn so I don't have to watch. Just sees a snippet of it's his like, daughter. It's fucking weird. Yeah. It's like, like turn the shit off. <laughs> He's super nice about it. Yeah. Yeah. How many times have you had chlamydia? Oh my god! In the industry, just once in real life, like twice. Hey, I think that <laughs> chlamydia makes you cool. The porn industry is so clean, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Outside porn, it's like fucking fire. Yeah. Like, you never know what you're gonna get into. I was yeah. raw dog and frat boy, so <laughs> that's the oh, news. Yeah. That with fire. Yeah, it that's where I got chlamydia. One of my friends once said that if you haven't had the clap, then you're not living. Exactly. Oh god, Wait, was that me? No, that okay. was a different friend, but I'm sure <laughs> if, not something if you, you never had the clap, yeah. you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> I like had a video go viral where I was like, did you even have fun in college if you didn't get chlamydia once and Jordan Belfort stitched it and was making fun of me? And I'm like, Jordan oh, Belfort hello? I stitched it to make fun of me? He was, I think he said something like, I'm so glad you're not my daughter. Yeah, but... I'm glad too, <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> my dad's proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> like we could all get a dad like Kaylee. Yeah. <laughs> Can't relate there, but <laughs> um, what are you the most self conscious about? Oh my god, um, my personality. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm really? like all day throw me naked on camera, but when I start talking, I'm like, shut up. Like I'm so I don't know. It's it's scary to talk. It's like what am I gonna say? It's like am the I anxiety, and yeah. then you can't stop talking when you have the anxiety. That's me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, shut up and fucking listen. <laughs> but for the sake of the podcast, I'm here. Yes. A few shots deep. A few shots deep. I keep doing this high five thing today. That's new. <laughs> That's new for me. Um, ooh, do you think you're going to hell for sex work? You know, that's my worst fear, is that the afterlife. Uh -huh. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. But yeah. I hope we're all there together. Hey, yeah, well, <laughs> we're very spiritual. So we just yeah. think that, like, because if you look back at, like, what is it, the pyramids in Egyptian times, they were fucking yeah. having orgies. The Greeks were having orgies. Yeah, like, living their And lives. sex work is the oldest, like, industry yeah. for female. One of the oldest, anyways. Yeah. Um, so... I I think do I think we'll that all these people see. that are getting down are going to hell? No. No, I think I that we're that we're going to be rewarded I for that. I believe in karma, though. Like, I hope I don't come back as like a fish or a frog. <laughs> like, I'm like, bring me back as a hot bitch. Like, oh, Kendall yeah? Jenner, Kylie Jenner, bring me back. <laughs> something important, something interesting. Can you yeah. imagine coming back as like Kylie Jenner's little kid, and you're like, stop. oh my god, stop. stop. You're just living your, your best life. life. Is just That's the up. goal. So just be nice to everyone, because you never know. Yeah. yeah. That's true <laughs> are you pro-abortion yeah oh yeah I think like do I mean, whatever the fuck you want I'm just I'm asking offensive questions here I feel like everyone like in the this. industry has to be pro abortion what if you get I mean, pregnant imagine, on set okay to be deep imagine yeah. your daughter getting fucking raped like if my daughter was raped I would be like do whatever the fuck you want like yeah I'm yeah. just gonna have someone's baby and then that's your responsibility yeah. forever that's my mindset yeah, yeah. can and you imagine if you said no I'd be like get out no. Get out of my podcast room. And people who are, like, not for birth control, I'm like, are you fucking dumb? Yeah. Do you want to have, like, a million babies? And then they slut-shame the women who have the babies because they're like, 
Wow, you put a whore, you got no, pregnant. Just be a whore on birth control. It's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do thing, Both of us girl. are off of it. We're yeah, like, I'm trying like, to get our I'm hormones. Like, pull and I wish it's my job. No. If I if I was off yeah. control, I would have porn babies left and right. Yeah, I, she I, tracks I, her ovulation. Yeah, that's why I was like, I know I'm ovulating right now because, like, I can tell just by, like, the way that my boobs are swollen. I also track. So I like, like so hot. Yeah. So yeah. And Can I'm also collab extremely, while you're ovulating. Yeah. I'm really horny. I'm, it's it's yeah. good to collab when you're ovulating with girls. Well, hang on. Yeah. Not with guys because it's risky. <laughs> the pregnant, the pregnancy scares, oh, yeah, no. the sperm. No. <laughs> I'm like not cute. No dicks right now. <laughs> no honey. <laughs> if you had to lose your boobs or your butt, which one would you be losing? Tits, because your ass would look bigger. Oh, if you lose your tits, your butt really looks. Point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've always had a butt, but I'm like, I need the poops too. Are you kidding me? No, lose your butt, cousin, yeah. or no, lose your tits. Oh, yeah. You can always like gain tits. Uh huh. Get yeah. surgery. Yeah. It's uh, later on. More hard to gain a butt, I think. <laughs> it's hard. You, a lot of it's just genetics, cause I I've always had a butt, and people have been asking me if I have a BBL, and I'm like, no, but like my tits are fake, my lips are fake, I my know. chin is You're fake. Like, <laughs> who gives Thank a you. fuck anymore? Like everyone gets their fucking shit pumped. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shut up. Anyone it's who's hot. really hot it's on the hot. internet. To this shit. Shut up. Yeah. Anyone who's hot on the internet, either face up or fillers or surgeries, I like who's who's all natural nowadays? Sorry, you came to me? You're, it's fine. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that offensive? Was that offensive? <laughs> Little like doe <dough> eyes. <laughs> Would you rather be fingered and eaten out for the rest of your life, but lose dick or vice versa? Oh my god, I would rather be fingered and eaten out. The rest of your I've life, I've had yeah. way better fingering than dick game. Mm -hmm. Really? It wins. I'll squirt all day with fingering. Yeah. And then dick, I'm like, uh. What about you? That's a hard one. Okay, question. Am I allowed to, like, have my clit rubbed while I'm getting the dick? Or is it, like, no clit rubbing at it's all? It's the finger in you, baby. It's the hitting the fucking Well, I'm saying if I have the dick option, yeah. can oh. I also have my clit rubbed? Or is it only I think it's one just or the other? The I'm, I'm trying to do mutually exclusive. Okay. So one or the other. I'm a masochist, so I want to say dicks. Okay. What is a masochist? I like pain, so I like to <laughs> like I like to be like fucked. Whoa. Yeah, you like the twelve inchers just ramming your cervix. <laughs> You're my kind of girl. I, if I don't have cramps after, I'm just like a little disappointed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the one time I got my cervix bruised by like a huge fucking cock, like. And this wasn't for OnlyFans. This was just like surprise. I have a nine-inch dick. Oh my god! And for f I was for free. And I got such bad cramps. Like it just kept like hitting like my cervix. I was like, oh my god! And then afterwards, I like it, it was in LA, so I was like, I had to try to run to get my car because the meter was running out. Yeah. Oh, and no. I was like falling to the ground because I'm like, oh my god, the cramp started like really bad. I started that sweating like real, I had a honey. fever. Yeah, when I had that happen, and I kind of like it. <laughs> I had to go to the urgent care afterwards. It was bruised for quite a few Listen, days. Listen, when I know I have a big dick for work, I take a few days off after. I'm like, it's, yeah. my throat is going to be fucked. My pussy's going to be fucked. Yeah. I can't fuck the same the next yeah. day. Oof. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you ask for more for the days that you have those big dicks? I ask for a few days off, yeah. But do you ask for yeah. more money? Um, can you? Depends. Okay. You can. <laughs> depends on the situation. Yeah. But usually if I know I'm fucking like huge massive dicks, I'll do it for OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Because yeah. for companies you get paid one time, but for OnlyFans it's forever. Consistent. Exactly. Yeah. If I'm going to take your dick, I'm taking it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a so, fair point. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be smart about it. <laughs> it's really funny because we actually said this, uh, you already kind of answered before we even started. I said, as someone who has served in the military, did you vote for Trump or Biden? I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. in the military, they teach you don't talk about politics, don't talk about religion, and I still stand by that. Like, believe what you fucking want, and mm -hmm. just if people are open about what they believe in, listen, but you don't have to have a fucking opinion. Yeah. Just shut the fuck up and listen. So mm -hmm. that's what I do still. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just here to turn people on, not to talk about politics. <laughs> <laughs> Porn star. America. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I got the offensive questions out of the way. Let's get into the porn section. I saw a clip of you sucking a BBC that must have been over 12 inches. How do you prepare to fit that all in and suck that and do the gobble gobble without throwing up? Oh, the gobble gobble, my favorite. <laughs> I, I like that. You know that's a huge fetish, just the throw up thing. I do yeah. throw up on almost every penis, even if it's small, because my I, I was Baby, bulimic girl, for over 10 do you years. Do that? 
We need to promote this. Do we? I'll film <laughs> it when I ever, whenever I touch a penis again. They let throw up, but do they let you throw up on OnlyFans though? I don't know. Maybe they don't let you, they you squirt, They don't let you so. pee. They don't let blood on. Oh, their I'm animals. squirting. So I haven't gotten it taken down recently. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I yeah, they, squirt videos they told me it was they consider it pee and there's no peeing allowed and I I just it depends with that. how it looks you have to like rub it really really hard yeah. and then it sprays and you're good yeah but yeah. if it looks like fucking piss streams you're done yeah yeah because I have to like I just have the Hitachi in it and then I'm good yeah. so it's like kind of covered yeah okay that's a cheat they code. pick and choose the cheat code <laughs> <laughs> squirting cheat codes so how do no. you, how do you get prepared is the question oh, oh um you don't you just fucking do it oh my god how yeah. do, you, do you prepare um. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm a masochist, so I... Oh, you like little, it? You want the pain? She accepts it. She's like, bring me yeah. on the pain. So do you throw up on the dicks, or do Never, you... Never, no. Okay, people love to watch the struggle. They <laughs> yeah, want to like, see a little... They want to yeah. see the eyes watering, yeah. and like you're looking up and a you're crying. A little mouth on a big dick. They yeah. love that. So if you can like... I'll only finesse. do the crying, throwing up on a penis after they make me come, because... Okay, oh, this is one of the questions I wanted to ask you, too. If your body count was only the men who made you come, what would it be? Oh, that's still large. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it drops down to, I think, three. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I, if someone doesn't make me come, I fucking use their face. I use their dick. <laughs> I'm like, I'm taking fucking you just control. control. <laughs> and they use you. Honey. <laughs> yeah. So, that's a tip. That's it. There you go. Just, you, just I control. use your face. You're dominant. Like, yeah. You're dominant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you then. Yeah. Them. <laughs> you gotta be in charge of your own destiny a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Can't depend on men for your cum shots or women. Just yeah, I literally just like then at, if they don't make me come, I'm just like, oh my god, I want them to leave so I can like use my vibe. That's why I don't yeah. miss dick. Yeah. I'm like a year not fucking a man, and yeah. I'm like over a year, and I'm like I don't miss it because they're not making me come. Exactly. But when yeah. I'm dating, I try to stay away from adding the vibrator because so I want it sensitivity. See how long I can go without it. Yeah. Yeah. Because one on one, it's so hot. It's like I don't need anyone else but you. The mm -hmm. hottest yeah. thing. But when you throw the vibrator in, it's like I depend on this guy. Yeah. yeah. Not you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the longer you can go without it, I think it's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that uh, you have worked with Johnny Sins. How yeah. was that experience? Um, honestly, he's the goat. I, he's amazing. Yeah, he, he looks like he goes, he gobbles gobbles on that clit. Yeah, he's yeah. good at everything. He's so I'm hot surprised. too. Yeah. My husband looks exactly like him. What? And so people, well, not exactly. Like, they're, they're very similar. Like people a ask, roided looking version of Yeah, Johnny. he's like, he's like more muscular. Yeah. So people will be like, is that Johnny Sins? And I'm like, he's amazing. Sort of, my fantasy sort of came to life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm, that's not my type usually, but yeah. when he's fucking, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And that's what's hot. I like hot. that dominance, and I don't know, I have a thing for bald guys, so. There you yeah. go. You do. Yeah, I do. He's perfect. Who's your favorite porn star that you've worked with? Male porn star. Oh my star. god, male. Male talent. Fuck. Um, mm, Kieran Lee. Kieran Lee. Love him. He knows what he's doing. He uh -huh. does this thing where he like whispers in your ear and licks your oh, ear. That's naughty. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, okay. One time I like pulled away a little bit because I was like, I didn't really ear wax today. <laughs> I pulled away. He was still doing it. He was like mad after. He's, He's cleaning like, your ear. That's what I'm into. He's into the ear wax? Yeah. Oh, I was like, he but I didn't up. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he oh likes that. It actually turns him on, I think. But yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm speaking for him. But yeah, <laughs> he's into like talking to your ear. When I was like, a kid, oh. sometimes, because you know how when you're a kid, you like pick your boogers and eat them? I sh no. Yeah, people do that. Okay, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I one time tried because I was, I don't know, I was like probably in kindergarten. And I tried my earwax. I'm like, huh. And I try to lick it. It tastes disgusting. No, I've had so many porn guys like lick my ears, like inside, and I'm like, wow. this is hot, but I don't think I fucking <laughs> earwax. You what is it called? Enough. Yeah, I didn't do that. Today. But I do think men are into dirtier shit into than it. women. Yeah, because there are some men that want to yeah. eat booty holes that smell. haven't been that have like yeah. shit stains on men Facts. sometimes. Or like they want to smell your armpits. I'm like, babe. <laughs> They're like, don't wear any deodorant. Don't wear any spray. I'm like, are you into They want it? your pheromones. It's a fetish. Some yeah. men want my dirty ass shoes. I was trying to sell my shoes. I like used to do outside sales yeah. and I was walking in Arizona, like, you know, 100 degree weather in these shoes yeah. going door to door for miles and miles at a day. And I'm like, who wants these? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I well, get it's it. It's into that. But the, I hear people the, buying crazy stuff. Yeah. Models. Yeah. Have you worked with Owen Gray before? No, I don't know who that is. You don't know who Owen Gray is? The tattoos, the oh, skinny, he... lanky, deathly looking man. No. My favorite 
porn ever. Really? My favorite porn video is Owen Gray and Small Hands, and they're tag teaming this girl, and her eyes are just like, uh, and I have yeah. to watch it. Yeah. Wait, so you know who Small Hands is? Yeah. So he always works with Owen. Like, okay. all, like Owen is in a lot of his Instagram videos, and I started watching Owen Gray because, like, back in the day when I would go on Pornhub, I just like go to whatever's on the Explore page. Yeah. But then I never really got. I never knew who the famous porn stars were. So now, yeah. like, I'm getting to know who's good because I'd watch a lot of shitty porn. But I'd be like, <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to get off here, so. Yeah, yeah you want the, like, premium? He's definitely in the premium category. Because he, and he's up. sensual. He he's really so takes sensual. care of the women. Mm. I, I don't know. I've never Same with Johnny. It. Is he still shooting, maybe? Yeah. Oh, I'll shout yeah. it out and then Just report back. Him. I'll report back, guys. Yeah. Please do, because, like, I Is still want to be por- celibate. What porn are you guys into? Let me interview you. Oh, um, I like the porn um, where I like seeing a girl get eaten out because I, like... It just looks like she's turned on. I don't like porn where it looks like the girl is just a fuck toy. Yeah. I like the porn where it looks like she's enjoying it as much as he is. Same. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that's like shot because most porn is like geared towards the male view, the yeah. male gaze. Yeah, it is. Same for you. I really like DP porn. Oh, um, you fucking yeah. slut! I, love <laughs> I always have believed that two is better than one. Woo! <laughs> Who are you? Should we get married? <laughs> we can. Thruple. Little thruple. <laughs> Qu- quadruple with the... <laughs> I don't know. I love the anime porn, you guys. I used to watch like anime cartoon? porn because I thought no. I wasn't sinning. So I started watching porn at a really young age. You're worried about I was in, sin. I was in third grade. I was in third grade, like, and that's why I'm like, all this social yeah. media censorship is such bullshit, because I was watching porn just in third grade, do, clicking all of the pop-ups, crash the whole computer, but I was watching, like, oh, I'm no. trying to watch anime porn. You're messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, this is so sinful, but the anime porn, I'm like, anime porn isn't sinful, or one time my mom caught me, and she Sweet. was like, just watch animal porn, like, that's not the... Animal? <laughs> yeah, she's animal? Like, yeah, animal's fucking, because she's like, that. that's on Discovery uh, Channel, you know? <laughs> it's it's like, on Discovery Channel. It's not considered sinful. <laughs> it's not porn. But yeah. she's like, just use that to control your urges. <laughs> she's like, watch the Discovery Channel. The goat's Did fucking... help, though? No, it went back to fucking oh. Pornhub. <laughs> Anime is great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to try it out. Big monster dicks. Yeah. Yeah. We love those monster dicks. <laughs> um, what male porn stars uh, would you want be wanting to work with next? Oh, my God. Am I having a seizure right now? What male porn stars do you want to be working with next? Oh, my God. Um, it's so weird because I'm not fully gay, but I love the woman. So I'm all about what woman can I work with next? But the male, I've never been asked that. Um, I guess small hands. Yeah. Yeah, and his wife. See, I love women so much. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love them all. See, two so is better than one. Two is yeah, better than one. Two is better than Owen one. Owen Gray, too. Maybe I'll have to look yeah. him up. I love his porn, but yeah. I also love the deathly looking skinny men. Like, they're my favorite. Oh. No, MGK, Pete Davidson on the brink of death. Mm. Okay, love that that's, look. That's like in right now. Yeah. It's mm. It's been my type since high school. I've it's been really my type since it. as long as I can remember. And people are like, Adelia, like, you go for the ugliest guys, and now it's in. Now, now that Megan like, Fox and Kourtney Kardashian <laughs> pave the way, it's a trend <laughs> now. <laughs> Trendy um, ducks. <laughs> who would be your fantasy to work with, like woman wise too? Oh my god, I feel like I've already done it. Like everyone yeah. wanted. To, oh, Abella Danger, because you know why? I love what I can't have. And uh-huh. she doesn't do porn anymore. Okay. So, like, I used to watch you, like, all the time. Now I want you even more. Yeah. Because you're yeah. not available. Do you work <laughs> with Angela White? Yeah, I did. That was one of my goaded, like, girls I wanted to work with. Yeah. And I just shot with her. She's fucking amazing. She makes me feel like shit. I'm like, you're amazing. Oh, just, She's like, performance performer. level? Yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. to be a better performer, but I'm just... A- yeah, better sex work. Yeah, I need to start studying her craft and then... Oh, for sure. Trying to... Her dirty talk, she just turns on. Yeah. Yeah. She has noises I've never heard. Watch her shit. Is that? Yeah, we're going to have to study. Shut up. Study, yeah. We'll watch it tonight. We'll, we'll report back. We'll report back. We'll, we'll give some trials. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, I remember uh, seeing do several interviews where you said you prefer his six-incher versus some of the huge porn dicks you work with. Were you saying that to be nice, or do you truly believe that? Okay, honestly, what turns me on is connection. Okay. It's so lame. But I like, I don't care how big your fucking dick is. If you can finger me, if you can like make me come with eye contact, like that's mm-hmm. all I care about. Yeah, Our central chemistry wins. Central template. Yeah, I've yeah. done like fucking dread, like the big, yeah. thick guys, and it's like nothing feels as good as 
connection. Yeah. yeah. I'm so lame for saying that, but it's true. No, it is true. I don't think it's lame. It's like your sexual blueprint. It's like everybody has, there's sensual, there's erotic, yeah. there's um, kinky, yeah. and then there's energetic. So you could be like a mix of like energetic and sensual, which yeah, especially in my industry, like yeah. listen, I'm fucking not all the time. I'm not a fucking whore, but I'm a whore on camera. Hey, we're all <laughs> whores here. Whores. I'm fucking. We're trying to like high five. Okay. I did something different. I just got rejected by everyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't tell what you're doing. I thought you were like, yay. Well, okay, yeah. I got my phone in my I hand just, for the questions. I need something different because I get that all the time. Yeah. Like, the fucking weirdest positions, like you gotta have variety. Oh, wild. Do and you so actually need- enjoy a lot of the positions, or are you just like performing a lot of it? Okay, so in the beginning, I was like, just lay back, bitch, and fucking look like you enjoy it. Because if you don't look like you're having a good time, your fans are going to know, and Uh they're going to fucking drop Mm -hmm. you. But now I'm more like, I need to be a performer. This is a fucking performance. Mm -hmm. And now my videos are doing way better, because I look at it like I'm an actress, and I need to get up and fucking use my legs, and Uh I can't just lay there and enjoy it the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm learning now. That's one of my things with my videos, is like, people are like, can you fuck yourself with a dildo? And I'm like, so you don't care if I come with my Hitachi? and they're like no yeah but they love that shit like, <laughs> they're like, like we want mm. to see what we enjoy yeah, yeah. on only fans my best selling videos are the ones where i actually squirt and like enjoy it and i look like a fat fucking lard oh like, my I god can just let everything it's just like, the, like the, yeah. the wrinkle the belly wrinkle yeah. things like those are the best yeah, yeah. Like just fucking they want the real out. deal like some of my best videos are when i just woke up and my hair's in a messy yeah. bun and i look it's i feel realistic. like i look like shit but then they love that yeah mm-hmm. that's really you yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah they're like we don't want this like dolled up dolled up fucking bimbo no Little, they want to see yeah. <laughs> blow <Everything>. up looking <laughs> yeah okay so you have had 31.4 million views on pornhub what do you think like how does that feel <laughs> That's great. That is, like, more than I think I've ever had on TikTok. Wow. That's a lot of views. Yeah, that's a lot of views. That's great. Some of your views have more, or some of your Pornhub views have more than David Dobrik's breakup. Really? Yeah. Video. Uh, That's great. (laughs) It was like, that is a lot of views. Well, I feel good as long as it's not my dad. As long as he's not adding to that number. Then we're good. That's great. What do you think is next for you? Do you want to do porn forever? Oh, I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I just yeah. I just moved to LA. I'm like I want to be a gilf, even though I don't want kids. I'll be a gilf ever, without a kid. See, I don't ever want to be a milf or a gilf. Okay. I like being a wife or a starlet, hot wife. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't want kids either. In the, my personal life. Oh yeah. yeah. But, but for just not porn, for porn. I don't want to be labeled as anything. Yeah. I mm-hmm. just want to be open. I can't be. So it's so fucking weird. I can't be a stepdaughter because I my tits are big, and I can't be a milf because I look young. Yeah. Wait, so, so you I'm can't be a stepdaughter like, if you have small, if you have big boobs? It's just a thing. I like look older than the fucking dad. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yours, yours so are fake like, too, right? You're a hot wife. Yeah, the military did it for oh. free. Oh wow. yeah, that's actually yeah, one of my I've questions I have that. later on. Yeah, they do that. That's wild. <laughs> okay, I'll give. I'll come back to that. Um, do you care if a guy's booty hole is washed and showered before you dig in? Or are you just That's digging for coal in it's there? Like, it's Russian roulette. You never fucking know. You just go in. It's like how you about how you feel at the moment. Yeah. I so, so far, it's been clean. Okay, so you've never licked an asshole and you're like, you can taste the poo-poos. Never. That would be never. traumatizing, I think. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah. yeah. Or if I get sick after, I'm like, okay, this is not a good booty hole. Oh That's, my God. That hasn't happened. Have you uh, watched <laughs> it? Like her TikTok used to be Animal Princess, but she's been banned so many times. It's uh, like Stella, Stella something. No. So, okay, she's she's had strep in her stomach from eating too many guys' booty Stop. holes with poop on it. Stop. But she'll oh just gosh. lick the poop like off her finger and stuff. And um, but she's making a lot of money. She's making money. I couldn't even imagine. I think she made like. 200k in the matter of three days just from Girl. tiktoks like that and she's like fucked a homeless person that was she she was working at the shelter and then fucked him in his car wait okay i wouldn't but i love she's, to hear it she is like my idol of things i could never do but yeah. that i would wish i would want to do i just live through that i'm like you do you girl like can you imagine yeah. liking the taste of poop you're just like no. But yeah, yeah people... that's a no for me. That's a hard no. Hard yeah. no. I'm going to have to draw a boundary. Honestly, on podcasts there. and stuff, I hear people sell their shit to their fans, and I'm like, damn, am I fucking lame? Like, I need to be yeah. doing more. I need See, to I just have so much thing. diarrhea that, well, maybe they like that. <laughs> Not the diarrhea, okay. <laughs> Idea. <laughs> that's just, okay. <laughs> that's offensive. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
So let's ask some questions about the military. So you're a trained professional, a shooter, straight shooter. Yeah, I was. D- I, for dicks and years. the gums. Yes, honey. <laughs> now I'm doing it differently. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite gun to shoot? Um, the 240 machine gun. It's okay. big. Mm. Heavy or too Ooh. Heavy. And it has big belts. Are it's you good? So fun. Okay, so I have a shot in like... I've shot for porn. Like, we've actually gone to the range and shot porn videos, which oh, go wow. viral. Uh-huh. So good. Yeah. But I ha- I honestly haven't shot since the military because it's not the same. It's yeah. harder when you... I didn't realize. I took advantage of it. It's harder when you get out to own a gun, to go to the range. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And I've just been hustling with porn. I just yeah. don't care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I was in the army, fuck, it was so fun. It's like the highest feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's and like then an you don't orgasm. have to buy the ammo yourself. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm using the military's fucking, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. But it was so fun. I wish I could do that again. It's hard to do it in the civilian world. Yeah, yeah. I feel like unless you know gangsters. Probably in California, yeah. especially, it's like yeah. I live in Texas, to it. so it's really e- easy. You can like, go out and just fucking shoot anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, not anywhere, but like you have to go to a range. But to um, own to get a machine gun. Um, I think you have to have like, a special permit or something uh, to get a machine gun. Well, I'll come visit you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so I'll fun. work on that. What yeah. are your stats with guns? I won't even know what they mean, but I'm sure there'd be some gun people there who oh know. Oh my god, yeah. I, honestly, I've been out for the game for so long, I don't really remember. I just okay. thought I would exceed the standard. Yeah. So I would like either hit straight shot like the whole time, or I would exceed. But honestly, it's like. It's hard. As a female in the military, you just have to fucking do better than the guys. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. you're labeled as, like, a loser, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Are you competitive yeah. then? I'm very competitive. Like, physical fitness. Yeah. And shooting, I'm very, very competitive. Ooh. Are you competitive in the military? It's bathroom? hard. You know, if you're blonde <laughs> fucking chick in the military, people are like, oh, she's a dumbass. But then yeah. you have to show up in other ways. Yeah. So physical you have to, like, fitness and shooting help me, like make a name in the military for myself Mm -hmm. that's pretty cool let's talk about some of the sexual harassment you experience in the military oh you know everything honey i watched (laughs) a i I prepped for this it was hours (laughs) there was a lot of that shit but i was smart i wasn't like letting it happen yeah i found out if you get if you get married you can move off post really quick Uh uh-huh so i dated a guy got married super fast like in a week we moved off post and had a house, and I didn't have to deal with the harassment anymore. Because mm-hmm. that shit was hard. <laughs> yeah. God. Did it help that your only... dad was also in the military? Kind like... of. He taught me a lot. He told me, like, just fucking be a background character. Don't try to stand out, mm-hmm. or people will pick, will pick on you. Also, he told me, be really good at physical fitness, because if you're good in that area, then no one can say shit about you. Yeah. Because yeah. you can show the fuck up. Yeah. So he taught me a lot. Were you ever, like, if people were, like, sexually harassing you, you're like, do you know who my dad is? Never. Oh. <laughs> but a lot of the, um, the higher-ups would stand up for me. Like, yeah. if they saw that shit going down, like, someone would yell, fucking barracks rat at me while I was walking through the entire quad. What does barracks the, rat mean? Like, you're just fucking around in the barracks. Okay. The, which is not the case, but yeah. people want it to be the case. My fans love that shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so um, a higher-up will see that shit, and they'll say, like, don't fucking call her that and they'll smoke them out, make them do a million push ups. Like, people stood up for me. Yeah. Because awesome. I could hold my own, you know? That's sick. Have Which you is... heard of Vanessa, I think it's Gillian? Gillen? Yeah. That whole story with her? Um, so, do you think, so just for everyone who doesn't know the story, she tried reporting the sexual harassment and was found dead like six weeks later. And then the guy who was thought to have shot her killed himself. And then I saw like a lot of stories on like TikTok and Instagram. So, do you think it's like safe to be a woman in the military? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to be a woman anywhere, right? Yeah. Not to sound like a little bitch, but it's hard. Like, we have to fucking show up more. I don't know. We have to, like, compete with the guys sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Especially in a physically demanding job. It's uh-huh. really hard. Um, I think she was just honestly, it's so sad. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time because it could have been any fucking girl. Yeah. Any guy. It could have been anybody, and it's really fucking awful. Yeah. But I remember the whole military was, like, crying over that. It was sad. Yeah. Because that mm-hmm. shit happens a lot. Not, like, her whole situation, but just girls going through that, guys going through that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not being able to talk to somebody, and it's too late. Like, mm-hmm. it's so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think there are ways to ensure safety being a woman in the military? Like, what did your dad teach you to do to, like, ensure your own safety? The thing is, no one teaches you. You just have to fucking go through it and yeah. figure it out. And hopefully you're, like, not... Do you think being really buff can help? Because you're like, ooh, I'll beat you up. Kind of. I think you just have to distance yourself from, like, 
everything. Mm -hmm. Know where to be at at the right time or you're going to... It's so hard to say. Yeah. You never know what could happen. You really do. Um, Did it feel isolating to be the only girl in your unit? Your whole unit of what... 500 people, you think yeah, you said? Yeah, so there was a few other girls, but they weren't living in the barracks. Okay. So there was, like, two or three other girls. Uh-huh. But it wasn't isolating. It made me feel more powerful, honestly, because, like, I was the girl was showing average. up. Yeah. yeah. And the guys, some of the guys couldn't fucking outpush me. So it just, I felt like kind of I had control over my career, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's all about how you view things and how you treat the military, because, honestly, the military is going to fucking use you, so you need to know how to use it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's like porn. Porn's going to use you, so So, you need to know the (laughs) rest. Speaking of using the military, your titties. Let's talk about that. (laughs) Let's talk about that. What a a nice gift. What a nice gift the military Um, gave you. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, I was married for, like, two years to this guy, and he would talk so much shit about my tits. Really? I felt so awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I told the, I know. At least you're divorced now. Thank God. <laughs> God. I'm doing way better. But I told the doctor, I was like, I'm so insecure. Like, what can I do? Because I read in the regulation, if you have any insecurities or want a cosmetic surgery, you can get one free cosmetic surgery. Wow. And I was like, I love my, I want new teddies, you know. Mm-hmm. So I talked to the doctor and he was like, I've never done it before, but I'll send you to the Air Force, who does amazing titties, by the way. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so they sent me to the Air Force, and I was a little guinea pig, and I did it for the first time, and it came out great. They look wonderful. Thank you. They do. They look amazing. So, yeah, thank the Army and the Air Force. <laughs> thank you for your service. And yeah. I think you said in one of your interviews that the wives also in the military can get cosmetic surgery, right? Yeah, and it's a lot, I don't know why it's a lot easier for them. The wives get a lot more cosmetic surgery than the soldiers because we have to fucking train. We can't be getting all BBLs all day, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. But the wives, they want them to be confident for the men, especially when they go overseas and come back. It's a whole thing. Interesting. It's easier. That makes yeah. sense, though. Should I marry into the military just for that? Honestly, it's no. Really- <laughs> I, th- I don't think I could deal with all the trauma they go through. It's yeah, it's <laughs> what happens a lot I've dated, in the military. I've dated two different Marines, and they both had a lot of trauma. Okay, yeah, that's hardcore. Marines too are hardcore. Yeah, they're both so hot though. Yeah, because right? I don't. I'm like not attracted to guys who think they're like really tough or have to be really tough. I like the like, like nerdy boys, and the nerdy boys wouldn't do good in fucking the military. <laughs> Yeah, they do okay. Yeah. <laughs> really? In fighting? Um, or like other departments? They're smart. They're smart? Yeah, they I do, love their boys. They put, I feel like they have actual jobs that would require, if I'm correct, that they have jobs that yeah. nerdy boys could do. Yeah, yeah. like me, I was human resources and a machine gunner. So uh-huh. I got to be in the office and shoot with the guys. But yeah. I love being in the office because I could see everyone's fucking dirty shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you had a DUI? You, um, <laughs> you fucked his wife. You, you, got, tea. you got the tea. I got all the tea. Oh yeah. So I knew who to date and who to stay away from. <laughs> so with your machine guns, did you ever like? Have you ever for porn or OnlyFans or anything like that done that scene from like Austin Powers with the machine gun tits? No, but I fucking should. You Can should. Fem- the fem- fem- bots? My Can we be file? on the other end? And you <laughs> oh look so cute. Do it. Bot too. They I'm have down. this cute little frilly pink outfit, and then they put their hair like this, and then they. Uh, 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 uh. You've seen that scene, right? No. Okay, so she like whips out her tits and just like she goes like this, and it's just like machine gun. Okay, gunner. My most viral video is at the range. So anything Mm -hmm. with guns or shooting, they'll love it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So you were married at 19, and what's really funny is that you married your ex's best friend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy, like, oh, I feel like such a bitch saying this. No, I lost true. my virginity to my ex's best friend. Oh, really? So we're tag team in that. Oh, yeah. It happens. It, it, like, it wasn't really it? on Man's purpose. Game? It was just easy. <laughs> It was yeah. just easy, like it convenient. I was fourteen. I was ready to lose my virginity, and his best friend was down. It was not, I was wow. I was bottom of the barrel back then. Guys didn't want me, so his best friend was yeah. down. I wanted to lose it. Yeah, easy. You have to be really picky about how you lose your virginity nowadays. Really? Yeah. Why? He's an athlete. I was like. Okay, well, he looks like he has a big dick. He's an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big dick energy. And I went and was like, let's just fucking do it. It's like a collaboration nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Back when I was in high school, it was like a collab. Yeah. I just wanted to get it over with. It wasn't with. like that with me. Oh, really? It was like, I was so love. young. Purity I was culture. Like, I was like 15, and I was like trying to sneak it because I grew up in purity culture, and I wasn't supposed to be having sex, but I really wanted to because I was like... 
I'm a slut and I want to be a slut. And then it was just with this guy and it was so basic. Afterwards, I was like, I was kind of disappointing. Oh. But then thankfully, this other guy it, redeemed the sex wait, story for me. It builds you. Yeah. It's like, this yeah. is just practice for my real man. You gotta break yeah. off the training wheels. Yeah. Dude, me and the guy I lost my virginity to, we couldn't even get to thrusting because he didn't know what he was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just laying there and he didn't get me wet before so it felt like sandpaper going oh, up in my rabbit body. fucking? So, it, not even rabbit. We just kind of stayed there and I was like, okay, get out of me. This hurts. But I still oh. count that as losing my virginity because his yeah. pre- penis went in. Wow. It was awful. Oh. It was awful. Yeah, then he threw me in a trash true. can when I told everyone. He threw you into a trash can? Yeah, because he was like, don't tell anyone. And I told everyone because I'm like so excited I lost my virginity. He threw me in a trash can because wow. he was mad that I told everyone. Because <laughs> then his best Wait, friend found if out. We had That's videos, mean. If we had videos of us losing our virginities, what great content. I mean, um, we were all underage, so oh, yeah, no one, <laughs> so I don't I think that would, we would be <laughs> the wrong market. A step if, you, yeah. if you, like, fell into purity culture, maybe, like, if you saved yourself. Till 18 and lost it on camera. Oh, my God. Yeah, but who, who that's is a virginity too. with that's a camera rolling? The porn stars who are 18, like, coming right at 18, they kill it. You know Jenna Fox, right? Yeah. She lost her virginity on set, and they didn't even advertise it as she was losing her virginity. Holy fuck, Jenna. They missed, yeah. they missed out on a bag, for sure. They did. Like, the fuck? That <laughs> video could have done so much oh better. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So for all the 18-year-olds, use OnlyFans first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, this is your future. I mean, this maybe not, <laughs> but it's not the cash cow it used to be. But <laughs> So how did the marriage go? <laughs> oh, well, I, I got what I needed out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Um, we lived in Hawaii. We had two dogs. We had a beautiful home. It was great. Mm-hmm. And then we went separate ways. As soon as we both got out of the military. Oh, so you guys were both in the military like and both f- wanted to get out? Yeah. And then, uh, well, we didn't know until the, our end of service. Yeah. And we're like, let's just go separate ways and fucking do our own thing. Uh-huh. So we got out, and then the divorce was like a fucking Band-Aid rip. It was so easy. Interesting. Like people, are, people are always like, divorce is so hard. For well, me, it was so fast. I think I it's only kids. hard for people yeah. who, like, don't uh, want one doesn't want to get divorced, and the other yeah. does, or one wants to be petty. Yeah, yeah. Like, one wants all the money. I know, and, but yeah. it's so easy now. I'm working on my second marriage. So. <laughs> Wait, you got married twice? No, but I want to. Oh. I want to do it again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just got married. I don't know who, but it's going to be yeah. fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> marriage life is cool. It's fun. Yeah. I feel like you're married. Mar- yeah, you I just got it. married like a month ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a month ago? Yeah, like really Congrats. recently. Thanks. Have you done like swinger stuff yet? Oh, yeah, we've been doing that for a long time. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's the way to have Swingers. a marriage. Swingers. I saw his dick with her. Yeah. Wow. This was, that was like my last sucking dick experience like my last one yeah that was a good one time. that's a good video yeah that video still sells well <laughs> um was it hard keeping it quiet that you were camming while in the military no you told everyone <laughs> no i didn't tell anybody oh but it wasn't just, hard no i remember some one girl was like do you want to have a sleepover i was like we're fucking adults like i'm not gonna have a sleepover with you and i would go home and camp <laughs> that's the real reason i didn't want to yeah. have sleepovers but yeah i it wasn't hard. I would just get off work. I was door dashing for a little while because mm-hmm. in the military, they don't fucking pay you shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't get... Mm. Especially when I was stationed in Hawaii. Hawaii is so hard to live in. It's really so expensive, expensive there. Yeah. And the military only gives you so much. So I would get off work at like 5 p.m., door dash till midnight. Oh wake up at 4 a.m., go back to work. Like, wow. it was a lot in my body. And then I discovered camming from this random fucking chick my husband, like, liked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, okay. So... She showed me the ropes, and then I just fucking picked it up myself, and I was like, I can make this much in a night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have to fucking bust my ass in the military so hard. I don't have to do all this stuff I'm doing. Yeah. It was just, like, the right thing to do. (laughs) Are you making more camming or doing OnlyFans in porn? Um, Camming. Camming? Um, Right now, OnlyFans is definitely, like, taking off I was camming before OnlyFans like really blew up Mm -hmm. so that's all I really knew and then my cam fans were the ones who were like you're really good at performing you should do this professionally for like porn sites so they're the ones who kind of gave me agencies and pushed me into it and then I learned about OnlyFans later on Mm -hmm. but yeah camming was definitely good I love my fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But OnlyFans, like, paved the way. It just changed everything for us. It really did. Yeah, like, yeah. the whole stigma on sex work and stuff like that. Because yeah. even before, I mean, I felt like I would kind of shit on sex workers before OnlyFans became big because that's everyone's 
fucking shat on sex workers. So I'm just like over here following the crowd. Yeah. And then I started taking a lot of psychedelics, and I'm like, oh wait, they're actually kind of cool. <laughs> like, OnlyFans is so good. Huh? OnlyFans is so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. Oh yeah. I love it. She ate my pussy. She was the first person to ever eat my pussy, and I liked it. First girl to eat my pussy too. Yeah, I remember that. Really? You were yeah. like, she she told me that she. I'm like, I don't like didn't getting my like pussy. getting her pussy ate, and I was like. Hold Let on. me show you. We're gonna change that. Let me show I you happen to be an expert. <laughs> and I have fantasized. I have fantasized about her just like eating me out because it is. It's really good. It's Thanks. it's it's solid. It's I solid worked work. really hard on my. Skills. I worked really hard, <laughs> but I love too the people who don't do that stuff on OnlyFans. They can just fucking go do workouts on OnlyFans or cook. I'm like, what? That's all you do? Or yeah. Oh, they're not making baristas? good money. Yeah. If they're just doing that, really? Yeah. There's some of these that... girls make way more than I do because I'm online for free. Yeah. I'm like on yeah. fucking the hub like uh-huh. so some of these girls who keep it low key yeah are, people are nosy they're like I'm gonna subscribe and see what the fuck she's doing on there yeah they want the sneaky stuff yeah. yeah I think like the less I show on social media the more money I'm gonna make on my OnlyFans cause people are like oh you don't show your ass anymore now I need to pay to even see her ass yeah, but that's true. It's like good, but it's also harder to market yourself because then people need to like you for your personality, and that's even harder because like your body, it's easy. People love my tits. People love my ass. My personality—that's what I get shit on. I love my personality yeah, though, but it's harder to make a name for yourself. Yeah, with your personality. Cam, yeah, on porn, people only see you as a porn, a fucking horror figure. But on mm-hmm. cam, yeah. they get to know you as a person. Yeah, those yeah. are the most loyal fans of all time. Should yeah. I cam just for the fans? I'll show you how. Okay, cool. <laughs> I tried and I was really bad at it. No, I was out so here good. showing my pussy, being like, "Hey, no one's no one's giving me money." But I would also I would film it and post it on OnlyFans, so it's like at least I could make the money from that. Yeah, but like, it's yeah. just like a live stream. Yeah. Um. Yeah. How was the transition from camming to porn to OnlyFans? Oh, <laughs> good. Good. Porn was hard. Porn, like, I went into my first scene and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, it, it was like 12 hour day. Yeah. My pussy wow. was fucking raw. My throat closed. I really? could not, yeah. I wasn't yeah. used to deep throating for fucking hours and hours and hours. Hours? Girl, it was a long day. I'd rather die. Yeah. Uh, long it was time. an amateur company. They just wanted to get the whole experience. But yeah. It was a whole day thing. Yeah. But that's not really how porn is. Some sets are really quick and some sets are long. It depends mm-hmm. on the day, on the guy. Can the guy stay hard the whole day? We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like you walk in and find out. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them take like um, those like pills and stuff. They have, they, yeah, they have like donor dick- pills. Yeah, not all of them, honestly, but some have, like, dick pumps or, like, they inject. Yeah, there's an injectable thing that, like, my husband tried it one time. Yeah, and to make your dick bigger? No, it, it gives you, like, a super boner that won't go away. So, like, yeah. we had sex for, like, five hours, and by the time I just got to the point where I was like, all right, I am so done. <laughs> and he was like, honestly, my dick hurts now, so hurts. I'm done, too. Yeah. And yeah. then we were like, okay, that was, like, it was fun for one time, but... I don't know that that's something we would. The problem do is again. with that I've just heard from guys in my industry is once you start doing that, it's game over. Like that's you depend on it. Yeah. You're like this is so easy to get hard. I need this, and then yeah. your dick just depends on it. Okay. Do you prefer porn or OnlyFans, or do you find both equally as important? Um, both are important. Porn is great. So when I first started, I was shooting for everyone and anyone like mm-hmm. every day I was so painful for me like yeah. my pussy my everything but now I'm learning like you don't have to shoot for everybody like mm-hmm. you can just shoot for a few companies get good like exposure good fan base from it yeah mm-hmm. and then focus on OnlyFans because you do browsers yeah. right oh yeah I love them yeah Woo! my favorite company yeah I shoot for they're them hot. all the time yeah but they're one of the best like they get good exposure the fan good fan base from them mm-hmm. yeah so I mostly work with them a mm-hmm. few other companies, and then OnlyFans. Sick. Yeah. So on Holly's podcast, you said that you're also a squirter. Team squirt. Squirter. <laughs> um, so here is my question. So the men in my life have squirt shamed me, and I would, like, force myself to stop squirting because when I first started coming mm-hmm. with men, I was like, oh, like, just, poof, squirting everywhere. And then the men, like, at least this guy who I was dating for a while – First of all, he never tried to make me come. It was always my vibrator. And then he'd be like, ew, do you really have to do that here? Do you really have to come here? So I had to teach myself yeah, not to squirt. Um, um, anyways, and now the men, even like some of the last men I've hooked up with, they're just like, oh, I don't know, like squirting's not all that. It's just like a big mess afterwards. But like, if that's what you do, that's what you do. So have the men in your life done that? Um, I've never been squirt shamed. <laughs> You've never been sh- No. Well, I have lucky before. bitch. Do it to myself. You have? I have before. Yeah. And I, like, I... 
I had the same thing where you like shut it down and so then I couldn't squirt. Mm-hmm. But it used to be all the time thing and, and now I can do it again. But like it took me a lot of work to get it back because I had repressed that side yeah. of myself. Because basically, he just didn't want to deal with the mess. And I'm like, well, we could, like, fuck on a towel on the floor or something. <laughs> like, I don't care. But fuck it. It's a good feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. like a it's release. A fucking, yeah. It's just, like, I was really having to, like, kind of clench my vagina yeah. to not How let this How dare squirt. they squirt shame you? Yeah. I'm <laughs> fucked up. No, I think I've gone for very man- vanilla men because if I even try to get my finger by their booty hole, they're like, oh, "I'm not gay. It's don't it's don't do yeah. that." <laughs> Until they get it and they're like, "Whoa." Yeah, yeah no, no. I'd, I'd get kicked in the face before that. They would let me do that. Like the man in my house. <laughs> wow. They, wow. Yeah, but it's okay. Honestly, if I'm fucking a girl and they squirt, I'm like super proud. I'm like, Woo! I did that. Like, yeah. I'd be offended if you didn't squirt. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, do you think? This is a question for both of you. Is squirt pee? I have no fuck. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> it's both. I think it's, if you're yeah. hydrated, it doesn't smell like pee. Yeah, if you're yeah. well, not even just that. Like there have been times where I'd like be going live on OnlyFans or something, and I would like squirt, and it didn't smell like pee. It was clear, yeah. blah blah blah. And then there were some times when I had just squirted for like five days straight, and then this one, it just smelled like straight pee. And I'm like, well, I know that one's pee, but the other ones didn't smell yeah. like pee. Supposedly, according to the new data, it's like that. They, people research this because people are curious, yeah. and apparently, it's a mixture of both. So there is, like, the female version of the prostate that gets a little bit of ejaculation, and Uh then there's also urine. It makes sense, because when guys are trying to make me squirt, they push in my bladder. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's, like... I think it just depends how hydrated you are, because if you're not, it's going to look fucking yellow piss. And if you're hydrated, it looks, like, clear. Yeah. Drink as much water as possible. So we love liquid IV. Yeah. Ooh. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, (laughs) but sponsor us. What are some of your craziest sex stories? Oh, wow. Um, I had this guy recently... Well, Is no, no, okay. before him. Um, he, we fucked, so we, the sex was so good on camera, uh-huh. we went after to fuck at his place. And he cream pie, I love cream pies, you guys. Like, oh, yeah. it drives oh, yeah. me crazy. I don't know Same. why. I I'm used to love them before, you know, getting off birth control. I so hard, yeah. But. So when a guy, like, comes to me, I'm like, oh. But he came at me, and then he goes down and eats it out of me. Ooh. I was like, is there cameras? Like, are you <laughs> filming this? Are you doing this that's, just for that's fun? That's so hot. That's freaky. I, yeah, it's, it's freaky, right? Yeah. I don't know how I felt. I was just like, okay. I would be very turned on. I'd be like, <laughs> wow. Because I feel like a lot of... Okay, I mean, this was like way back in the day. But I've had some men, after I suck their dick, they won't kiss me. And yeah. I'm like, well, we're not hooking up again. Are you kidding me? Because they're like, I don't want to like taste my own dick. Yeah. What pussies? <laughs> like, are you kidding? Like, I I taste myself all the time, and like, well, I mean, so I'm maybe, kind of okay, gay, but so it's we yeah. it's hot. We decided it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. If you lick your, your own, own cum, cum out of women, eat your own cum out of me. So yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> or like, if somebody like like when in a threesome, for example, like say like. My man like comes in her mouth and then I like kiss her and get the come back. That's cool. Yeah. I want it. Swapping. Yeah, yeah. I want Ooh, it. We I'm love like, that. I, I, I love it. Give me the come, please. <laughs> I think my come tastes so much better than men's do. I just you I have know. a story for you. Oh okay. yeah. My second scene ever. So it was like I was flown out from my first scene to see if I could be a porn star. It was like a test. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if I did well, I could become a porn star. <laughs> uh huh. Crazy. But um, mm-hmm. they kept me for another day, and it was called um, oh fuck, um. Oh, I already forget what it's called. But a guy basically surprises me with his big dick. Mm-hmm. So how surprise? Yeah, surprise. surprise. <laughs> so the day before the guy I fucked, he had to give me a blowjob, and he mm-hmm. accidentally came in my mouth. Did you I throw up? Him, I gave him a blowjob. Yeah, no, 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 I never threw up. Okay. But he accidentally came in my mouth. So I had come in my mouth, and I was walking into the bathroom to wipe the cum off, and the guy surprised me right then and there <laughs> with his big fucking dick. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it was called Black Ambush. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look it up. So he surprised me with his BBC, and then I'm like, I'm playing off, like, oh my god, it's so fucking big. And he goes up and smooches me. And I have this guy's <laughs> come all over my face. I'm like, I'm brand new. I'm like, guys, sorry, can we cut? Like, I have come all over my face. He goes limp. It's a, it's a 12 hour day. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Was he He's like, so mad? But we talk about it all the time. Because, <laughs> I mean, you didn't know. He didn't know. I just know. walked in and I was brand new. I started yeah. crying. I was like, I'll never be a porn star. <laughs> it was a hard day. Oh my God. Yeah, black ambush. <laughs> I was oh. ambushed, honey. <laughs> well, that is amazing, though. What is your grossest sex story? 
My gross sex? Yeah. Do you have a gross sex story? Wow. How lame. No. They've all been great. <laughs> do you have a gross sex story? I don't think any of them were gross. I've had some really freaky sex, but not, like, Ooh. gross. I'm trying to think if like, I've had gross sex. sex. Yeah, have I don't know. Like, men pooping? Are you pooping on someone? or No. That I've no. never done... I'm not into no. the poop stuff at all. No, but, like, like if a guy's doing anal... I mean, are you just always very cleaned out? Oh, yeah. I have a whole protocol. Okay. I I've learned it from... I, I found vanilla. this... I was, like, a website by these gay men that were talking about how... Because, like, gay men, obviously, they have anal a lot. Oh, yeah. And, um... They have this whole protocol with like a bidet for your booty, but yeah. it, like it cleans you out internally, and so then you're squeaky. I I have an immaculately clean booty. Okay, yeah, I have it been does told. make you squeaky clean. Yeah, it's important. I'm proud yeah. of you. Thanks. <laughs> Can't really. Yeah. <laughs> so no, actually, I do. I, I don't do anal I, on camera. I wash my butt like a lot. Oh, so yeah. wait, do you agree with the statement that you're not a true porn star until you do anal? Because I've heard I've heard that on the internet before. You're a true porn star when you can sit on set for 12 hours getting fucked and having a bunch of men watching you with the camera <laughs> in your face. You're a porn star, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I considered myself a porn star as soon as I started showing my vagina on OnlyFans because I'm like, if it's tits, it's still kind of like, I don't know, like nude modeling. But yeah. if it's the vagina, it's porn. It's so funny now how anyone can really be a porn star. Yeah. yeah. And fucking make an OnlyFans and, and it's do like, that. It's like independent models versus yeah. agency models. Like, it's like porn is more agency versus mm -hmm. OnlyFans. I just feel like we will never be like the goats of the day. Like back yeah. in the day in the desert getting fucked for like hours and hours and hours. Like that's the real true porn stars to me. Yeah. yeah. And we're just like trying to follow their lead, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They have the crown. <laughs> So, <laughs> your dad found out you do porn by watching porn. What was that conversation like exactly? Like, when he first... Oh, he, he lied to me. So, the first time he was like, I saw you on Avian's list for Best New Starlet. It's like a big <laughs> award. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. And I just kind of ignored him a little bit. Um, but he was like, no, I'm so fucking proud of you. Like, it's so hard to, like, maintain yeah. that. Especially your first year in. Like, you're yeah. making yeah. a name for yourself out of nothing. Like, you literally built yourself from the fucking ground up. So he was super proud of me. Mm -hmm. I found out later on from his girlfriend that they were watching porn, and I popped up on a browser's <laughs> fucking video. I was like, why don't you just tell me? He's like, I don't want to let you know I saw you. <laughs> so That's I found out later, yeah. but he's still proud of me. Like, um, I wouldn't expect any better response from my a, dad. That's very respectful. My yeah. dad sent me screenshots of my nudes and is like, you whore, but, you know, half Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got, I got scolded, but they tried to scold me yeah. when they found out. Oh, Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was. I'm. My. I come from like purity culture, so it was yeah. like a big deal. They were like, oh, mortified. And my. I'm from a small town, so. Okay. People in small towns have like small minds because they only see like where yeah. they're at. Versus like everyone else in the world is like, yeah, it's so cool. Like. Do you ever go home? Yeah. Um, they're like, that's the whore. <laughs> yeah. At least they like say that to me, but like I. I feel like people sometimes judge me for that, but I. I just don't care. So yeah. I'm just like, it's. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Yeah. Keep living your small town life, honey. Yeah, you'll it's be not fine. for me. <laughs> I'm like, you'll I'm be okay. Adventure. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta yeah. be horse for life, man. No, but I love people that like accept, especially family. When it, family accepts you, it's like yeah. 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 Um, are you polyamorous, or how do you view relationships while doing porn? Oh fuck, <laughs> I've never been. In, okay, I've been in like one relationship during porn. It was a thruple, mm -hmm. so it was easy because mm -hmm. they had each other, and I yeah. could do my own thing. Yeah. But I'm recently getting into dating. Normally, mm -hmm. it's really hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to be careful. Like, I can't say certain things. Or I saw on a podcast that you sent a video with you with like a big dick, and he's like, "Oh man, with my six incher." <laughs> That's not a picture of me with Johnny Sins. I don't oh, ever yeah. disrespectfully, you know. <laughs> I was because I know he loves. He dressed up as Johnny Sins for Halloween. Like he yeah. loves him. So yeah, yeah. But honestly, the six inches win. Yeah, <laughs> all day. With a little curve. Ooh. All day. Ooh. All right, let's ask some TikTok appropriate questions. Are you looking, oh wait, this isn't TikTok appropriate, but okay. <laughs> Are you looking to stay in this industry forever or slowly transition to having a more traditional life? I love the industry I'm in. I'm gonna ride that fucking wave as long as I can. Woo. Could you ever see yourself being a married woman with a picket fence and kids and a dog and living that normal life, going to church every Sunday? Oh I tried that and I got cheated on. Yeah, okay, oh, no. it's not that fun. Yeah, no, he had a baby. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, if there was one thing that you want people to know about you that is not conveyed on the internet, what would it be? Oh, I feel like I convey everything on the internet. <laughs> yeah, pussy and My asshole. Pussy is and... so tight. 
It's the tightest. <laughs> That's what I want people to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's ask some user submitted questions. Okay. What is the biggest stick you've taken? How big? Dread. No, Anton Harden. I don't know how big it is. It was like from here to here. Oh, so is that 12, 12 incher? Could the whole thing fit inside of you? It was really difficult. Yeah. Yeah. People like that. Yeah. <laughs> they like a squeeze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, someone asked, do you think that your asshole could be uh, uh, fisted if you really tried? Have you have you tried that? I haven't, but I heard the asshole is stretchier. It's, it's so a lot. Short. You can't do that in your vag. Mm. I, I think you'd puncture something, right? Well, people get fisted. We them. have babies. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you rip. Yeah. yeah. So maybe the asshole's a little... The asshole. <laughs> the asshole fisting action. You definitely have to be very relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Like super Lube relaxed. and relaxed. Yeah, Smoke a you, joint, you're good. I feel like if you like tightened up around a fist, oh no. Oh my god, because I, uh, ooh, I'd like <laughs> retract. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone asked, what is your ideal date? Oh my god, that's the cutest question ever. So cute. <laughs> um, around me? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a homebody. Like, I just like to watch TV and eat good food. Uh -huh. Is that lame? No, I, I, I like to say, you, I mean, you've seen my house. I'm just like there <laughs> fucking, I took shrooms just yeah, chilling. Yes, that's the vibe. It that's is the vibe. vibe. Be lame with me. All right. <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts for the podcast? Anything else you want to say? No. Honestly, I haven't been offended one time. This was amazing. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Yay. so plug yourself. I am at Kaylee Gunner official on Instagram and at Kaylee Gunner on everything else. And Kaylee is spelled with two E's. K-A-Y-L-E-Y. -E Just kidding. I lied. Don't listen to me. And then Gunner like a machine gunner. Okay. Ooh. Plug yourself. <laughs> thank you so much for co-hosting. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. This was fun. Um, my name is Kristen Elise. You can find me at Kristen Elise official on Insta and TikTok. And then on OF, it's Kristen Elise. All of my links are on ITS. I don't know why I started singing. Wow, I'm really bad at that shit. <laughs> ITS D E E L Z. So it's deals.com. Woo! Yay! See you next week, the offenders. Ugh.